Good afternoon, guys. We are back at SeaWorld. We are here today to go ahead and participate in the Seven Seas Food Festival uh, that is happening now, and it goes until May 7th. So we are here today to uh, sample some food. I have two helpers with me today. I got my girls with me today so that they can go ahead and get, uh, give some stuff a try. Um, mm. So we are excited to bring you along on that again and uh, kind of finish everything out and then just kind of see where the rest of the day takes us. Um, definitely visiting some of the animals as well. So we're excited to show you guys that too. So um, this is your official invite to go ahead and tag along with us and just have an amazing, fun, wonderful day at SeaWorld. So let's go. Something else I did want to point out is right here at the front entrance of the park by the restrooms here, they do have this pharma box um, and you basically can pay with Apple Pay, Google Pay, uh, Android Pay, and then a couple other ones here. But if you happen to forget anything um, and you guys are in the park and you need anything, yes, it will cost uh, a bit more, but um, they do have some stuff here. They got some Tylenol, ibuprofen, um, some necessities down here at the bottom. And they do have some like eye drops and things like that in here. So pretty neat if you're here and you guys do need anything in a pinch, this is where you can find it. Okay guys, so we stopped back by the Caribbean booth, which uh, we tried last time we were here, but I only had tried the uh, jerk chicken slider and the mocktail from last time. And I'll, if you didn't see that video, I'll link that for you. Um, but we did go ahead today. I wanted to come back by and try the, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's the uh, Ropa Vieja. So this is the shredded beef with the plantains on the bottom. And I did go ahead and get the pineapple dream cake, um, which I did talk about in the video last time too. Alrighty, so we just stopped at the Polynesian market and I decided to go ahead and get the, it's raining, <laughs> the lamb ribs. It's a uh, Hawaiian slaw with pickled red onion, barbecue, sweet and sour sauce, and then some sesame seeds on top. And um, I don't know. I have high hopes. It smells really good, so I'm hoping it, it's, it's, it tastes good. And uh, I guess there's no real way to dig in except to just dig in, so here we go. Oh, no, wait, it's actually really soft. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on one second. So here goes. trying to get some of the slaw with it too and the pickled onion but not really having a whole lot of luck here so I don't normally go for slaw but that's actually really good but I'm gonna have to say no on the ribs I'll pass um, I don't know if maybe at the beginning of the festival it was a bit different but that's a no for me so uh, so far, no bueno on this one, unfortunately. Alrighty, guys, so we were in line for the uh, Polynesian, no, sorry, the North Atlantic market, which is where they had the fish and chips. And uh, because of the inclement weather um, and it raining the way it's raining, a lot of people are, are left. They've left and they're still leaving. But we're going to stay because we're used to this sort of thing. It's Florida. So we're just gonna kind of uh, hang out somewhere for a little bit. And uh, hopefully once this slows down a little bit, they'll start opening some of the booths back up again because it looks like they are closing them down because of the weather. So, um, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be back with you shortly. All right, and the sun is officially back out. It's been back out for a few minutes now. Uh, my daughter's across the way here. Somebody left their Mickey and Minnie hat on the trash can, so she took it to uh, the Pearl and Collectible across the way here, so hopefully one of the team members can put that in Lost and Found and hopefully they get their hat back, because, man. Anyway, um, I had April rewards, so if you're a past member, every month they give you really cool rewards. So um, I went back to Guest Services, which is at the very front of the park, um, and I was able to redeem. So I had $10 SeaWorld cash, and you can use that on merchandise while you're here, or 
whatever you want to use it for. So I went ahead and I was able to redeem that. I was also able to get the um, the actual pass that uh, it's a Guy Harvey um, Hards uh, pass member card. Uh, so I was able to pick those up. So yeah, but we actually, one of the rewards is we got uh, a free feeding tray for the sea lions. So we're going to head in there and hopefully show you guys the sea lions and also show you what it is to be able to feed them. So here we go. Alrighty, so here it is. This is the Pacific Point Preserve. Um, and as you can see, the entrance is this way. And then there is the sea lion point in feeding. And this is so cute. I love all the detail up here on the wall. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh wow, this is really cool guys. So when they you come in, they bring you through. This is where they do like the, the show um, in here. So you come around this way um, and it's behind this area right here. So I'm excited. I've never done this before. We get to feed them. <laughs> All right, and then here's their habitat entrance. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this is exactly where it'll be, and it is a bit confusing because um, you kind of have to go around to come in, but here we go. Let's see. I can hear them already. Oh my goodness, here they are. They're so cute. Oh, they're waiting. Look at these guys. Oh. <laughs> as soon as you come up the steps, you can hear these two. These two right here. What the heck? in person this close and let alone heard them what the heck is going on man he's just like i'm chilling on my rock dude leave me alone look at this one over here not a care in the world not one care that's what i need to do <laughs> okay this guy over here he's got like no bones nelly he just literally was bending his head this way oh they are so awesome Oh, this is awesome. This is so awesome. And here we go to the rescue. Look at that. Oh, look at him. Oh my goodness, and this guy up under here, look at him. He's just like, look at him. He's chilling. He's sleeping. So here we go guys, we're gonna go get our feeding tray so we can go ahead and feed them because this is so cute. Okay, and then back in the corner they do have a hand washing station. So we're gonna wash our hands before we feed them. Alrighty guys, so our hands are all washed. We're heading over. I got two feeding trays so both my girls will be able to do this. Um, it was part of our uh, pass member rewards plus exclusive Guy Harvey design pass member card. Um, and this one just so happened to have one of the turtles on it. So right here. Uh, directly across from where we entered on this side over here guys you'll come down after you wash your hands over there um, and this is where you uh, go ahead and pick up the uh, feeding tray All right, and even if you guys are not past members you can go ahead and purchase a feeding tray which is really cool all right i think this guy is first on our list he is uh being quite yes hi quite vocal so here goes livy this is their food Good job, buddy! <laughs> so loud! Hello there! Okay. okay. I see you. You see them all. <laughs> okay. Hello! Oh, look at this, guys. She's nursing. She's a mama. Yeah. Yes, here goes. I'm gonna try to throw one over here to mama. Good girl. She got it. <laughs> she got her baby there. Oh man.
morning. So we just got done feeding the, uh, the sea lions and holy cow, that was super duper fun. I highly recommend if you guys are here, definitely, um, even if you don't have, if, if you're not a past member and you don't have, you know, um, a redemption ticket for a feeding tray, one tray is $7 and if you buy, I believe it's five or more, it's like $25. So you do save a little bit that way. Um, I highly recommend doing that while you're here because it is a lot of fun. They are very entertaining. It's a nice quiet area back here. There were some people back here that we noticed after we turned the corner um, or people are coming in now, but it is definitely super duper fun. Um, so again, if you guys are here, definitely try this because this is, it was amazing. I, I loved it and my girls loved it. What did, what did you think guys? What did you think? I thought it was cool. Yeah. They're so cute. <laughs> you, your guy though. He was, he was loud. He was loud. Bossy. Yes. Extremely bossy. <laughs> so yeah. Um, again, if you guys are here, definitely do this because I, it, I can't say enough. It was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun for sure. We just got done uh, going through the uh, shark encounter, which was amazing. It was really, really awesome. So coming around the corner from that, um, we're going to continue on with the food festival items. And I'm going to go back to the uh, Mediterranean market because there is something there that the girls want to try. And then we'll continue our way around to the rest of the booths that we didn't get to try. I do have to finish out my lanyard today, even though this runs until May 7th, because I will not be able to make it any other day. Uh, because this does run Thursdays through Sundays and unfortunately I work those days and I was able to take a little bit of time off to uh, take a little bit of a break and uh, you know come out and kind of finish this out so that's what we're gonna do today and part of the past member uh, perks was also some more free samples to add to the lanyard so I picked those up at guest services when I went so we'll be doing that and yes taking food home to the family so that's kind of kind of what we're doing here but that is how we're gonna pretty much wrap out our day and uh, let you guys know what we thought of the food that we tried earlier and then of course what we're getting ready to try now, we will certainly go ahead and share with you. We're here at the Mediterranean Market. Uh, this is gonna be number 14 in the book and I do like that these are labeled so you guys can easily you know, find what it is. Um, but the baklava I got last time for my mom, she absolutely loved it so I will be getting her that again to take home. But these Parmesan truffle fries, you guys, hands down, amazing. All right, so we just stopped at the Mediterranean Market and I did get these the last time I was here with my son. And there was like a parsley flakes on top, but that's missing today, but nonetheless, this is delicious. If you guys are here, you definitely need to try these. This has got this fresh grated, thick, look at this, Parmesan cheese on top. Mm. And these are perfectly, perfectly crisp. Like, okay. Mm. Yeah. These are delicious. And it's um it's done in a truffle aioli oil. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you guys, if you get this, you will not be disappointed. This is really, really good. So this one I highly recommend for sure. So I was just at the Brazilian market and I went ahead and got the it's the reimagined picana steak. I don't know if I said that right, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This looks phenomenal. I cannot wait to dig into this and give this a try. So it's a cilantro chimichurri and then a three bean salad. And then of course we had to go ahead and get the returning favorite, which is the Brazilian cheese bread and it's got honey whipped butter. So I am so excited to try this. I'm wondering if it's gonna taste kind of similar to the Brazilian cheese bread that they do over at Epcot during, I believe it's food wine, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to give this a whirl and uh, see. And again, all of this goes home to my son and my mom to sample and try. But um, let's see here. And you know what? I did not get a I did not get a, a knife. So shame on me. Let's see if we can bite this. Mmm. Mmm. I was talking about make it look. This is very tender. It is really, really good. And of course the chimichurri on top. Um, I'm just gonna see. Ooh! Okay, so some spice in there. But it's got a very herby flavor, but a good herby flavor. So that is really good. Looks like we got black beans. Um, 
kidney beans and then garbanzo or chickpeas in here. So here we go. A little bit of parsley. Oh. That is good. I will tell you that those are a bit more on the spicy side than the chimichurri that's on the steak. So just to keep that in mind, the Brazilian cheese bread. Sorry, I'm like looking at it. <laughs> um, it looks delicious. Oh, you guys see how fluffy that is? It's nice and fluffy. So here goes. Oh my God. I will tell you, the honey butter is already melted in on top. This is better than Epcot. I'm gonna say it right now. In my opinion, this one's better than Epcot. This is delicious. If you guys come to the Brazilian booth, you've got to get this. You gotta get this. All right, so we just went to the Asian market, guys, and we got the uh, Gua Bao, which is a grilled pork belly, steamed bao bun, pickled cucumber, shredded carrot. And then these are the deep fried dumplings with vegetable medley and ponzu sauce. I gotta be honest with you, this almost smells like, a, reminds me of a General So's sauce. It has that kind of a thing, but this is the star of the show, guys. This is the Bing Shu caramel ice cream. So, like, I can't wait to dig into this and give this a try because it looks amazing. So. Here we go. All right, so we just finished with the Asian market, guys, and we are heading to the Irish market because I am going to get something there for my mom. We're about ready to wrap it up here to take home to her and uh, give that a whirl. And then we're going to finish things out with the Caribbean, uh, not the Caribbean one, I'm so sorry. There's another one. I think it's the Gulf Coast one. I'll, I'll let you know what it is. But there's a couple things there we want to try. We're going to get our water before we leave as well. And then we'll do like pretty much a recap of our day for you. Alrighty guys, so this is gonna be one of our last stops here, the Gulf Coast Market. And I, I'm trying to see where the German market is at, but I think I may have accidentally passed it. Um, but there is some stuff here that we do wanna try. So that's kinda gonna finish out our day. Alrighty guys, so we are wrapping everything up because the park is getting ready to close soon. But um, we did go ahead and get um, a couple things at the um, Gulf Coast Market as well as the Mexico booth. And just to kind of go over that with you a little bit, um, at the uh, Mexico booth I got the street corn with the queso fresco, cilantro, avocado crema, and the tahini. And then um, I did get the tostada de barbacoa, and I gotta tell you, I just took a bite of this, and it is phenomenal. It is really, really good. It has the cotija on there. Um, guajillo chile beef, queso fresco. Um, it looks like some cotija on here to me, but I could be wrong. Um, pickled red onion, and then the cilantro on a like a tortilla type shell. This is really, really, really good. And I have no doubt that the corn is gonna be just as delicious. So. Mm. Oh yeah. I just dipped my hands in the uh, sopapilla because that was another thing that we got, which is the chantilly cream and jamperado sauce. And I apologize if I said that wrong, but it's basically like crispy fried dough pieces with like caramel and chocolate sauce and like cinnamon sugar drizzled on top with uh, whipped cream. So. Mm. That is really good. So, yeah, we have a lot of food to pack up, <laughs> but we'll manage. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we, as you can probably tell, <laughs> we are officially back home. I'm chilling here on the couch. I uh, apologize if there's like a bunch of hair in the background here. We have cats. So anyway, so I just kind of wanted to do a a really quick uh, recap of our day and kind of go over everything. I know in some of the clips we showed you guys, um, like the, when we got the food, we like kind of went over it real quick. But in some of the other clips, um, we purchased the food and then went on to the next booth just because I didn't really want to like make the entire thing, every single stop being, you know, at the booth. So 
just kind of wanted to do a little recap of some of the stuff we had at the very beginning of, you know, coming into the park, if you will. So we did go ahead and stop back by the Caribbean booth again, and um, the girls were able to try the uh, chicken jerk slider, I think it was. It had slaw on it, and it had like a hunk of pineapple. It was this cute little slider with a banana pepper on top, and they really liked it. Um, they didn't care for the slaw, so they did take that off, but they really liked the actual like chicken and the, the piece of pineapple and everything. And then the other thing I went ahead and decided to get from there because I was like in my mind the pineapple dream cake which I had talked about in the last video when my son and I went and um, again if you guys didn't see that video I will link that for you but they said it had alcohol in it but nowhere on the sign did it say that that it had any kind of alcohol in it um, and I was like well when I went back and I asked them the day that my son and I were there they said it was I guess piped into the um, like the whipped cream that was on top so I was thinking well okay I can go ahead and try it and just scrape the whipped cream off I honestly don't know what to think because one it was very good it was very good it was a nice soft like very fluffy light moist cake but I have to tell you there wasn't one bit of pineapple flavor in it I literally felt like it was just a straight vanilla type cake and I sampled a little bit of the whipped cream and I picked up on maybe just a teeny tiny hint of maybe a slight slight pineapple flavor and it had a little bit of like coconut flakes on top um, but I, it there was zero absolutely zero alcohol taste in that whatsoever so I don't know if initially when we went the girl did not quite have that correct and they were mistaken and I only say that because again trying it today and then just taking a tiny little sample of the whipped cream and and there nothing absolutely nothing no flavor of alcohol whatsoever so I don't know so just use caution if you're there and you want to try it go ahead and double check with them and ask them because when I went up to the booth to order I told the girl I because I had left my ID at the table with with um, my kiddos um, in our bag and so I didn't take that up there with me in case she was gonna ask me for it And she goes no no it's fine don't worry about it but she kind of looked at me weird like why do you think I need your ID? So that also led me to think maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm just I'm just letting you know. Um, but the other thing we also uh, went ahead and got was the ropa vieja. And that was amazing. It was the pulled pork on top of plantains. The plantains were a little teeny tiny bit dry, but they were absolutely, the crunch was there and the flavor was there. So I can totally look that over. Um, and then the next stop that we my puppy's looking at me. Um, the next stop that we made was we went over to, I think it was the All-American booth, and I let the girls try um, what I had tried there last time. So we didn't film any of that because that was in my last video as well. And then right around the time that we were at the North Atlantic booth, I'm pretty sure, where there was like seafood offerings there, um, it started to pour down rain really hard. <laughs> So in that moment, we got all the way to the very end where we were just about ready to order and they were shutting the booth down because the rain at that point was coming down so hard. It just wasn't happening. So we kind of went around the corner to the Italian booth um, and then Sweet Sips, they had the um, two regular cupcakes that were non-alcoholic and then they had boozy cupcakes. So we got the two non-alcoholic ones. I will tell you, um, it was definitely a bit disappointing um, when it came to the two regular ones and I say this because it said it was raspberry filled but literally at the very bottom there was only like this much raspberry it was at the very very bottom there was a little bit of raspberry like infused into the cupcake and then for the chocolate one it looked like they only had put the chocolate on the bottom and not actually in the cupcake itself but other than that they were both amazing and it was not actual like frosting frosting it was uh, whipped cream frosting so it was it was honestly nice and light they were very fresh they were delicious they were wonderful we really enjoyed it and then I also went to the Italian booth and I got it was like um, it almost looked like the uh, a big huge chunk of mozzarella um, and then it came with a little bit of um, like a little side of bread and it had tomato with balsamic glaze and then uh, coarse ground sea salt flakes and that was divine it was so good so I highly recommend that and then we did we did also go ahead and get the cannoli I did try a little teeny tiny bit of it and brought the rest home for my mom because she loves cannolis um, 
and that was it was perfect like the the filling in it the cream it was spot on it was delicious and the shell was just right it was it was perfect so the only thing that really became a miss for us throughout the day or the from what we had tried was when we went to the polynesian booth and i got the lamb barbecue ribs they were just a no for me but everything else was delicious um again if you guys are at sea world and you're visiting during the time when they do the uh, seven seas food festival i highly recommend trying it and definitely get yourself a tasting lanyard because you will definitely save some money um we really enjoyed getting to share uh, you know showing you guys that we got to feed the sea lions and then um, we also got to pick up our um they still had some pass holder exclusive uh it almost was it's almost like a turvis tumbler it was free and so that was amazing so we got that that was great and then also something else i wanted to share with you guys and show you because i thought this was too sink cool the other thing that i noticed they had and each booth had a different flavor but these are edible straws and they're also like biodegradable if you don't want to eat them i'm trying to figure this out in my head but they have different flavors i've never seen this before it's sorbos literally i don't know if you guys can see this it says edible straw right here so one booth had a, a strawberry flavor and then this one was a lemon flavor i have not tried them so i just thought you know bring it home and then this one is a chocolate flavor so yeah um just you know good for you sea world i just think that's really awesome that they have like a it's, a, it's basically a sustainable straw no matter how you look at it. So I just think that's really cool. And the really cool thing is it comes in different flavors. So we're definitely going to give these a try. Um, and you just pick these up right at the food booths. They were right there. So, yeah. And, um, again, another great day. So thank you guys so much for coming along with us. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to do all the youtube -y things on the way out. And don't forget to spread love and kindness. And we'll definitely see you all real soon. Bye. Oh, yeah.